It's summer. Most of your prospects are on vacation. They're not picking up your cold calls. This is going to be a very short video, but a very effective video. In today's video, I'm sharing the perfect voicemail script to leave to get responses from your prospects. If you're looking to become a better salesperson for the best sales practices, cold calling, cold emailing, negotiating, closing, running discovery calls, demos, this is the channel for you. Please subscribe. We post videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Like this video and comment below what types of content you want to see on this channel going forward, and we'll make it happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get into it. Here's the voicemail framework, and then we will break it down. Let's say, for example, I'm calling Francois. I get Francois's voicemail. Francois, no need to call me back. I'm about to send you an email with the subject line just left voicemail. When you get a minute, would appreciate if you could provide some thoughts and feedback to that email. If I don't hear back, I'll give you a call next Tuesday. It's Matt with ABC Company. So let's break that down. Francois, no need to call me back. Every other salesperson, when they're leaving voicemails, is asking for a call back. This is a pattern interrupt. I don't want you to call me back. I don't want you to call me back. I'm pointing the prospect to an email, and I'm tying my voicemail to that email with the subject line, just left the voicemail. And I'm simply asking for feedback and thoughts to that email. So I'm trying to get a response via email. I'm not trying to get a response and a call back over the phone because prospects don't want to call you back. They're going to be more receptive to email you back. Every salesperson starts a voicemail the same way. Francois, it's Matt with XYZ Company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They talk for a minute. They leave their phone number. Please call me back. 215-499-5124. You don't even have to leave your phone number. We're in 2022. If that prospect wants to call you back, all they got to do is check their caller ID, whether it's on their desk phone or their cell phone, and they can easily find your number. So stop leaving your number. Stop starting with your name and your company at the start of the call. Say your name and your company at the end of the call. That way, the prospect listens to the entire voicemail. This is going to help you get more responses via email. This is not going to help you get callbacks. I don't know the last time I got a callback off a of voicemail. You're not going to get callbacks off voicemails, so stop trying to get callbacks off voicemails. Start trying to get better response rates on your emails. Again, Francois, no need to call me back. There's no need to call me back. I'm about to send you an email with the subject line XYZ. I'm pointing them to the email I'm about to send. When you get a minute, would appreciate if you could provide some thoughts and feedback. It's Matt with XYZ Company. And I might want to throw in there, if I don't hear back, I'll call you back next Wednesday. Just to add a little bit of urgency there. Start using this tip. Tie your voicemails to your emails, and you're going to get better response rates from your prospects. What do you guys think? Let me know how you kind of approach voicemails in the comment section below. Like this video, please. Subscribe. It helps Francois and I out. And hit that bell to be notified. Again, Every Tuesday and Thursday, you're going to see my face on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate you.